Hello, welcome back to going home. Uh, I had myself for that. Okay, that's a simple Ouija board. Uh, I hate it. Okay, the only thing I'm gonna lower the volume. Okay. I should be fine now. I uh, some starting to enter in red if red lights are on. Well, it's not like I have a, I have a choice. I'm glad. Yep, I am definitely glad. So what's left is the basement. Are you sure we can't go to the attic yet? Fine. Let's go to the basement. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's down the hallway. Yes? Yep. Okay, it's definitely not gonna be anything scary. Why do we have to make your light like this? Why don't you have your switch? Right after the entrance. Really? Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. Enjoy the flavor, flavorful potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for that not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confident, Lonnie D. Dear Ms. DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in the kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate, following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again, same time next year? Surely, indeed, Madame La Samantha L. Greenberg. Yes. God freaking damn it, would you mind? Oh, that's cute. I like this. It's different now. Rat mouse. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around. Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. And this is your answer. Yeah. I guess you were lagged by teachers. And she's kind of an outcast. With depression, yeah. It it looks like it. Huh. Dear Samantha, congratulations! I am pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track of the Reed College summer program for young scholars for its 1995 session. We believe you have much to contribute to the Reed College community. Based on your portfolio and academic record, I am also pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of the summer program's tuition and fees. The attached documentation delineates your schedule, optional secondary track choices, and your dormitory assignment. Please remember to submit the attached form if you wish to be eligible for one of the free read full-time undergraduate scholarships to be awarded for exemplary students at the end of each summer program. 
We very much look forward to your attendance. Again, congratulations on your admission. My best wishes from all of us at Reed College. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Ooh. That's really tough. And kinda am thoughtful of her. <sighs> Dear Terence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. An author's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. An author's world is the sub is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the person now shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliché and impossible the time store science fictional day ex machina. I congratulate you on the surviving the great ordeal that is publication, and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily, but I urge you to shed artif artifice. You can do better. With father's love and encouragement, Richard Greenbrier. Okay. We finally see something about Richard that decided to destroy the painting. Certificate of naturalization. Is what Colonel Greenbrier the residing from the new Seattle, blah blah blah. Apparently had complete okay, so she wasn't hmm. interesting. You've been there? Oh, ashes. Okay, put it back. Nice and strong. Just gonna leave it till the morning. Yeah, hey Sam, I'm writing to you from Multima Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop on sh oh wait, you come. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though? I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Oh. Dear Sam, I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell you'd love Mexico. I think, probably, the nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Oliver and the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together, out there in the wilderness together. And I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, and about that, your last letter got me to 
go to meet the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing this ladder home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking down those tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time together in dark room. To Amor Lonnie. I don't like this place one bit. lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Do really I wanna go over here? Oh, yep, great. Nope, mm-mm. Okay, you were here, Terry. It, okay, so this is uh, your grandfather's. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, I said. How should I say it? I hate this place. And you go up a little bit faster? Anything? The empty pizza box. Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind on this matter. While, uh, while I understand that Miss De Soto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter that is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact that is uh, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward, and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. So she was. Get and Lonnie sometimes. Like her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti authority. But I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is. She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Costumes cut and stills, shoulders from the smell of like this pretty video, one just as Jack Kennedy. Oh, psycho house girl, the coolest stuff about being a psycho house girl. Cool thing number one, everybody in the whole thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because they guess they haven't heard of peripheral. That's a light moment that situation, but it was so okay, so those are part of her journal. Parts of her journal. 
This should lead us to somewhere. No, wait, where are we? Ah, we unlocked another room. No, it's definitely just rain. What do we have over here? San Josephine, John Greenbrier, stylist. Okay. Yes. Dear Head Conservationals Greenbrier, due to our, your exemplary management of the Flintlock prescribed burn operation last year and the services need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations, we would like to offer you a position of Regional Conservation Management Director responsible for operations throughout Northwest Oregon. Okay. Hey Lenny, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then she's home when she takes it out on you. Like because you're not a member of the family she knows, you will call her on it and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I know she's just jealous of our cool and free-willing lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom is in Florida to have a mom every day. Sorry I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I no, I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being totally serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living through that with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So, you wouldn't really live with your mom in Florida? I guess not. No. Do we? Of winning fire. I should be used to slide sliding doors. I have one, but it still grips me up. The uh, school was the coolest thing I found in Mexico. It was like three bags. Else, nope. Well, this is a dining room. Yep. Another person. Wait. Hi, John. I got two tickets for EWF on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. He's amusing careers. It's ugly again. It's ugly head again. Uh, so that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More fun than cleaning brush in the freezing rain, right? Wait. Ooh. Did your mom have a. a an affair? Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. We are grounded to, for, for the rest of the af of the month for, from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything but going to and from school. We understand that you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are restrained, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't happen ever again. Okay. Pass some from Greenbrier, Spopers. Disturbing inappropriate materials on. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Ooh. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even 
respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. First off, congratulations! Janice Greenberg, original director, and I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back! But in the meantime, let's discuss the, this little outing you had with our favorite flannel clad hunk. What a blast! But you sound like you're reading a lot into an innocent night out. You sure there's something there? You said he has an out of town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay, so we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough the letters. I owe you a congratulations, Margarita, boss lady. Soon. Okay, so your mother definitely uh, tried to have an affair. Excellent warrior. Don't give up on this. Um, it was. Why is it crumpled? Maybe he did it after finding out. I'm just looking for a switch. A light switch. Really? Oh, there it is. I'll insert it again. Invitation. Uh, marriage of the Okay. Time schedule. Working at Camberg at Pepper Road. Okay, no heads. That's always good. That's the first thing I expect while opening unknown fridge to find that uh, there's a head in there. Ask me why. Why? Wait, why is this drawer out? Wait, what? Okay, right, we were just moving in. Right? This place looks taken apart. Congratulations on your new position. Yep, we know about that. Nothing. Maybe he comes home this month. Are you new? Yeah. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say that I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like I got a miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? For now, we weren't the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobo hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We're trafficking the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten, by a small but dedicated group of plug-in bib bibliophiles type out of out there mass market shining a visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving. Christ, or zombie-like, timeless works such as NN Best, Be Best Man's Message of the Snake Man, It's Inside Me by John Scholar and Emil Krieger's off-band Venusian Flesh Traders. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at the church rummage sale in Long Branch, NJ, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. John Russell, mild-mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history-revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that modern suburban America deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. We want our, your permission to reprint the work, since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new foreword for the books. 
to appear in brand new edit editions of the Accident Savior and the Accident Paria to be produ produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Plus off. Okay. I think my throat is giving up. We are, the, we are in the garage. Uh, we haven't seen the guest room yet. It does not. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary from 3 to 7. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still in mid renovation. Never trust a contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. For four days. Pizza. Okay. Okay, so wait, why was there never mind. Okay, but I guess that's gonna be it for today. N next time we'll visit the guest room, I guess. I finally find out the hell. No. We've been here? No, we haven't. Okay. So for now, thank you very what the put it out. I'm going away show for one D. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Well, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!